We lost Don Shula last week. Many will remember the Dolphins legend as the ultimate football coach, but to one of his proud sons, he will always be so much more. What's the last week been like? Uh, about family. Jim. From his home in Jupiter, Dave Shula can now slowly exhale after going through an emotional whirlwind. His famous dad, born during the Great Depression, died during a pandemic and was buried after a private service. Uh, the fact that it was just family, you know, in the church and uh, um, uh, just made it, made it special. Dave grew from being the sandy-haired kid at his dad's side to his apprentice and then adversary. As head coach of the Cincinnati Bengals, Dave lost to his dad twice. But after their first meeting, he gained a lasting memory. He put his arm around me and, you know, he, he knew how much it meant. So it was a, a special moment. And it's still special to you. Yeah. yeah. Let's get something out of the drill. Everything we do is for a reason. Don Shula was known as a stickler for detail not just on the field, but even doling out chores at home. Once he told Dave to clean out the garage. About a half an hour into it, he comes out into the garage and, and literally gave me a seminar on the proper broom stroke. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't getting quite enough dirt out at one time. <laughs> Don Shula wanted things done right, but Dave believes his greatest legacy was treating people fairly. When he came down here in 1970, it was still Miami, not Miami. Miami was outgrowing a legacy of segregation when Dave recalls his dad rooming black and white players together during training camp, a move not lost on future Hall of Famer Larry Little. That was a very monumental uh, move that he made, and, but he would never talk about that. He just, what other way is there to do it? In 26 years of coaching the Dolphins, Don Shula left a stamp on the franchise and an imprint on his players' lives. Dave has heard from many of them over the past week, including former star Mark Duper. You know, he said, I'm sitting in a beautiful house in Louisiana right now, and that's because of your father. You know, he took a chance on me. It only took a visit from family to disarm a coach who had tunnel vision to win. In later years, Dave says his dad's wry sense of humor took flight, like when he watched Bob Greasy with fun a golf shot. When it goes about six inches off the tee, and my dad, without missing a beat, he just said, Bob, you used to quarterback sneak farther than that. <laughs> <laughs> Dave Shula says he's gotten a thousand messages of condolence since his father died. He says that validated what he already knew. He was our dad, obviously, and, and we, um, but we always knew that he was part of a bigger family than, than ours. And South Florida thanks the Shula family for sharing him with us for so long. You can watch my entire interview with Dave Shula. It's now on our website at cbsmiami.com.